All right, we've all had fun with the uh, 555 timer. We're gonna have twice as much fun today because we're gonna be looking at the 556. So there was a 555, which was a single uh, timer. The 556 is two 555s put all in one IC. Uh, so it's on this half of the chip, it's a 555. And on this half of the chip, it's a 555. So you see all the number ones, that has to do with the number one, five, five, five. And over here we have the number two, five, five, five. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so if you weren't familiar with a five, 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 it's this thing. It has two comparators, a flip-flop and an output. And usually the way it's used is um, you put a capacitor and that capacitor gets charged up with some uh, voltage. So usually use VCC and a resistor and you charge up a capacitor. So let me go ahead and draw one in here. You have a, uh, something underneath my, underneath my stuff, just a second here so I can draw on things. All right, I'm gonna draw, sorry, you can't see this. Just a second, just a second. Okay, so we have a, uh, a resistor here. We have plus, plus V and a resistor. So that capacitor gets charged up. Okay, charged up. Well, how are we gonna start it over? We need to discharge it to start it up again, right? And so we're gonna connect, we're gonna connect these, uh, I didn't connect in the right place, but we're gonna connect the discharge, which is A, NPN transistor to ground. So charge it up and then this transistor turns on, and sucks it back down to ground. Then we get to charge it up again, suck it back down to ground. All right, and when do we do this? Well, there's a comparator. So we just have some comparator voltages set here. In fact, they're already done for us. There's resistor, 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 5K, 5K, 5K. That's not why it's called the 555, but they are 5K, 5K, 5K. So they set two thirds voltage and one third voltage, and then this thing fires and flip, 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 flip. All right, so, uh, 556, but that's not the chip we're going to be using today. We're going to be using one that's even better, even better. Uh, we're going to be using a 755 or a 7556. So when you have a 7 in front, that says it's a CMOS part. So those were all old NMOS parts. These are CMOS parts. So they're much lower voltage. Um, so yeah, so you can buy 555s in CMOS. Um, we happen to have a 556 in CMOS today and they're all pin compatible and all that good stuff. So we are gonna be, chip of the day, everybody loves chip of the day, is going to be a ICM 7556, okay? And let's move the camera. Here's our circuit. We're gonna be only using half of the chip, so you can see nothing over on that side, everything's over on this side. So we have a 10K resistor to charge up the capacitor. We have uh, 0.01 microfarads to charge up. And those are my favorite values, 0 0.01 and 10K. Um, and then it's going to be monitoring the threshold. It's gonna be looking. And when that threshold gets up to be two thirds of the VCC, you're gonna reset the capacitor and start all over again, all right? So we have uh, seven volts coming in. Doesn't really matter what, why, why it's seven volts. That's just what happens to my power supply has to be set at. And ta-da! It looks like an oscillator. So it goes up and down and up and down and up and down. And those values that I picked at random, 10K and 0.01, ends up being 9.27 kilohertz. 927 kilohertz, there you go. All right. So if you have a circuit and you find yourself needing two 555 timers, no sense putting two of them in your circuit when you can get one of these. It's probably cheaper to buy two, two 555s than to buy one of these things in, in reality, but uh, they did make them. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen a circuit with one in it, but <laughs> they had them.